Welcome to the Merry Boozers RC channel, everybody. And Papa's back. Papa's back. Can't be, can't be real wrong. Look at this, guys. Joining the Boozer Barracks as we speak. Joe Pellegrino. I hope I said that right. I probably butchered it. But guys, if you haven't noticed yet, we do have channel memberships available. We only have one level. And we tried to keep it very fair and very inexpensive so everybody could be a member that wanted to be. It's $1.99 if you decide to join the, the uh, Boozer Barracks. Very it's affordable. A, very affordable. So, you know, we want to try and give you your money's worth. There's going to be more videos coming to members only section. There are new, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, emojis that are only for members. Uh, you get a little thing beside your name. Um, at one, two, six, a year, and two years, there are different membership icons. So right now, anybody that joins is going to be in the Steermans. So I tried to come up with some fun things. So it's a Steerman cowling, and then it's a T6, and then you move into the... Uh, I can't remember what the third it one is, is, and then so it's I a Corsair and a P47. So it's as you move up in the fighter ranks. Uh, is what we were going for with our little emblem. So, guys, if you decide to join, we really appreciate it. Um, you know, it's it's helps the channel out every time you guys do it. And so check that out if you can. Papa Boozer, would you like to tell them about what's going on on the side of the screen? Our Mary Boozer Fly-In. Oh. Oh, hand me that, Lori. Go ahead. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, it's in well, Mulberry, Florida. Well, well, it's on we, November twenty first. Well, we did go down yesterday, and we we went to their meeting. That was the first official uh, meeting for. Well, it was their club meeting, but it also had a lot to do with the upcoming fly, and they they were really gracious, and uh, the membership was. Uh, I was blown away with how well they want us to be the sponsors of this fly. Uh, I'm also thinking that, and we, we said to them, they wanted to know how many we expect here. And we were really, you know, it's kind of scary, guys. This could be the only fun fly of the whole year or the only large uh, fly-in that you will be able to go to. So uh, we could... We could do as big as Nall. In well, Florida. it won't be as big as Nall, but, it, but it, 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 we it did scary. think maybe a hundred people might show up to this. And we've got a lot of nice sponsors that have already committed, and I think possibly we could have some more. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's just it it could it could really get large and be we. I, 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 I did take a photograph or, or a video of the field to kind of get you guys to see what the field looks like and how large it is and maybe some way or another in the near future we'll put that on and up for you guys to look and see what the field looks like. It's going to, you know, it is Florida. It is November. I can almost guarantee you there's not going to be any hurricanes. <laughs> That's past hurricane season. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm it's gonna say this. Nice. I I went out on a limb, and last night I actually wrote a letter to Kermit Weeks. Now, I was very humble and asked him to make an appearance. At what kind of appearance? That that first, will he commit to it? Don't know, but. It would be great, uh, and, and I, I wish, I hope, his air museum is open that weekend for you guys to go and look at. To it. jump in on that, uh, the fantasy of flight is only about mm, 15, 20 minutes yeah, from where the fly-in is yeah, actually it's, happening. Yeah, it's not that <laughs> far away. So, you know, uh, he has a, what, what I would love him to do is this would be a, very little on his part other than he has a Fischler Storch, mm -hmm. a, a real World War II Fischler Storch, and I'd love him to fly in and do a touch and go, or maybe a, he flies in, gets out of his plane, and, and we does, all does a it. short 
I, don't, I don't. I mean, the man is a very busy man, and and I, I, we would be very humbled if he would do this. But I actually wrote a letter to him and asked him if he could do this, and I have not got any response for it. And and it is four days before Thanksgiving, so who knows? We'll wish we'll wish for the best on that right. one. But we're trying to do stuff like that for you. We're trying to get a little more stuff for the event. And so. yeah, if you bring the kids and everything. Uh, Universal is open, and uh, Disney, Disney is all open. that. It's and all within forty-five minutes, minutes yeah. of where we're at, so, so you can keep that in mind. And uh, I have had some guys already say they're coming. Dennis Farley and his son are going to come out, um, and they did open up an extra day for campers that want to come out early. So it is going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday now. So originally we. The actual event is only for Saturday and Sunday, but early people are welcome for Friday if you want to make it a three-day trip. So, and we are you know going. We, you know what we really need, since I'm an RVer, what we need to do is research the closest RV parks yeah. and let these guys know. Of yeah. course, you guys, if you're RVers, you can do that yourself, but we can research that and kind of give you some. If you don't want dry camp, that's all it is at the airfield. You would be dry camping, which if you're in a $400,000 motorhome, that's no big deal. But, it, you know, that you can, you, there's plenty of room and, and ways to... For tenting and, and setting up an RV for three days. But you're going to be no power hookups, no dump site, you know. And I will also tell you that since it is Florida, it is November. It could be hot. You need to bring you a, one of those pop-up tents. To get under the shade, maybe that's what I would recommend for you to do. But we're, we're, you know, what we're trying to get over to you. We're just so humbled that we are able to first give our name to such a great mm -hmm. uh, thing to do the Toys for Tots fly in. Second, we're also humbled that we're able to maybe bring a fly in to you guys that within three or four hundred miles, five hundred miles could come and have at least one fly in this year with all the COVID that's going on. So, you know, we, we've got to also say that we can't see the future. And you know as well as I do, Florida is one of those states that's kind of on the upswing. Hopefully by that time, that we've got a little bit more control over this thing and, and the the and the cases go down and it's not gonna be that big a deal. So it's after the election, so well, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, this this thing uh, has anybody got any questions about this? Not so far, I'm watching it. Hey okay. but guys, real quick, Papa found this old, old uh, poem, I and I wanted them to share it with us. Oh. This is the, uh, or do you want me to read it? I, what, whoever, I, it, I'm just not a very good okay. poem reader. Here, but, I'll read it, all but, right. This is something, I had. I actually had two of these, and I can't find the other one, and maybe somebody in the, in here, they, these were done in the, I, I think maybe these were done somewhere in maybe in the 60s or 70s. So some some of the nomenclature is here is a little antiquated, but it's it's something. There was there was another poem about a blue box and I can't find it. The little the little blue box or something. But anyway, this is a poem that a lady wrote. Uh, this lady wrote it. Uh, Patricia Banker from uh, California. Escondido, California, but there's no date on it, and it, and I'm possibly got this somewhere. And of course, I didn't start until the 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 early late early 80s, somewhere in there. I'm going to say somewhere in the 80s. This poem was given to me. Now, when it was actually, but it's kind of kind of uh, it's a kind of a spoof on the woman that has to do put up with the RC pilot, so yeah. you can go ahead and So here, it. I'll read it, but real quick, Kevin Farrows, thank you for joining the Boozer Barracks. Hey, we baby. really appreciate it. And, and the bad news is, I guess we ought to give him the bad news. Well, about yeah, Kevin. old Kevin's getting ready to move away from us. We're going to definitely miss him. I'm going to have to give him his tanks and some of his airplanes that are sitting around the shop right now back, but 
you know, Kevin has been a huge supporter of the Mary Boozers channel, guys. And uh, I can't thank Kevin enough for everything that he's done for us. Um, Kevin I, will always be an honorary boozer. Boozer, yeah. No he's always he welcome. or what he does, he'll always be the boozer. And he can um, always come fly with yeah. us, come to any event. But, but he told me the other day why he's moving is that, of course, Kevin is already retired. And, and maybe everybody knows that his wife is a, a professional airline pilot with American Airlines, but because of the downturn in the airline industry, Kevin told me that they really didn't know when or where she, even though she's a senior pilot, that didn't know if she would continue her career. Or, or, and she's always on okay. standby right now, so they they have made a decision to go ahead. She is retiring, and they have always wanted to live in Tennessee, so they're going to sell out here and, and build a new home. Uh, it's, it's south of uh, Chattanooga. No, not Chattanooga. Uh, oh, uh, I, either way, whatever it is. He's moving to Tennessee. But, guys, we're really going to miss Kevin. You guys have got to kind of know him through the Barry Boozers channel. And we're really going to miss him, and we really want to say thank you, Kevin, for everything you've done for the channel. You have brought a lot of models to people that wouldn't have got to see them through us any yep. other way yep. other than you. And you truly will be missed, so we, we really do thank you. Victor Shamulus, there's a guy that I knew would jump in. Welcome to the Booger South Barracks. of Knoxville, I know. I remember All right. Knoxville. Well, let me right. read this poem, and I know we're going to get it, to painting the airplane tonight, guys, but I'm so if glad that's If you guys want a copy back. of this, we'll get it to you some right. way. But it, it's, 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 yeah, yeah, if you want this after we read it to you, we'll get a copy of it to you somehow. And I'm going to try to find the other poem because the other one's better than this one. This one's very good. Gavin Street just joined us. Man, look at all the Boozer hey, Barracks hey, people coming Boozer in. Boozer Barracks. We it's love it. We finally and got the Boozer the Barracks. The Boozer Barracks name came from you guys. Yeah. You guys always are hitting it up in the bottom that, oh, we like the Boozer Barracks for the name of your show. We never named it it. But now, I said, what the heck? That's the greatest name ever for it. And like I said, we tried to keep it super affordable. So, And we are trying to... We was just sitting here before the show come on to talking about what... We what else we can add in the future? So we're kicking it around, guys. There's, I mean, this is our kickoff, but we've got a lot of stuff that we've done in the past, and you know, uh, but just if you are a member, then you're going to be able to get in, involved with some of that special stuff, and and uh, hopefully we can come out with some real good stuff for you members. So. I'm going to try and read this. Yep, I'm, you I'm guys pretty, know I'm that I'm good at fumbling words, so I'm going to try my hardest to make this sound pretty. But this is the Model Airplane Wives Lament, is what it's Lament. called. Lament. Lament. Lemon. Anyway, there is balsa on the carpet and solder on the chair. There's sawdust on the hi-fi, that's an old reference, <laughs> and sawdust in my hair. <laughs> so this was written a long time ago, yeah. if you haven't noticed yet, from hi-fis, you know. If anybody doesn't know what a hi-fi is, that was a record player. <laughs> so, anyway, my lungs are filled with dope fumes, which dope is what you used to cover the fabric, fabric on the airplane, a gas mask I should buy. The sanding sealer chokes me till I think I shall die. He rushes home from work to see his airplane, not me. I never can sit on his knee, for the airplane is there, you see. When he takes time out to kiss me, it tastes like ambroed glue, which is an old version of, like, CA or, you know. Yeah. Just to reference guys that are newer, sorry. So, when he takes me out to kiss me, it tastes like ambered glue, but this is very seldom, for he can't kiss me and the airplane too. <laughs> Sounds familiar, guys, right? don't it? After many weeks of labor, the plane is finally done. He takes it out to Sunset Strip. I go along to see the fun. The tank is full, the engine primed. 
He prays that it will be fine. He starts the engine, lets it go. It flies with pride, I cry. It loops, it dives, it dives, it dives. I'm sure there's something stuck. It hits the ground, the pieces fly. Damn, what rotten <laughs> luck. <laughs> <laughs> the wing is here, the engine is there. And through the troubles fond, I forgot turn... Oh, wait, let's see. I'm trying to read this one. And, and through and, the troubles found... Oh, through the trouble found, he forgot to turn uh, some switch, switch on, on before it left the ground. He picks up all the pieces, and in the car they go. He stops to buy another kit, then home we go. So then he starts all over with balsa dope and glue. I often think what he put up with the things I, a model wife, must do. Anyway, this is a very old poem. We thought we'd share it with you. This is something that's yeah, been around for, for a very, for a very, very long, long time. time. And, and once and again, your, your wife would probably enjoy it more than you do, but uh, that was something that was written by a wife a long time ago, and I'm going to say possibly by what I've read there, it's probably in the 60s. Right, 60s or I mean, 70s. It, that's know, a very old poem. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that or not, but uh, that has been around a long, long time, and... Uh, I, I ran into it, and I thought maybe you guys would like to hear that. So Now, another thing I'd like to kind of kick over is that when Wesley and I were driving down to Mulberry, we were discussing, <laughs> we we're always discussing, what's the next airplane, what are we going to do next, la, 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 and, and then we, we've actually been kicking around, and we've talked about it several times, is building something large. You know, we're, we're sitting here. Tim Ellis. Really? Tim Ellis? Is that the actual Tim Ellis? I don't know. I don't know. Huh. Sorry, I, I see a childhood friend, I believe, in the... in the. Well-read, young man. Is that Tim Ellis Is that from Tim Houston, Ellis Texas? from Houston, Texas that I see in the comment section right now? If the guy playing the guitar is all I can tell. That's probably Tim Ellis, then. That's got to be Tim. Plays a banjo... <laughs> I'm curious. I'm sorry, guys. I'm this sorry. name popped out of nowhere, and I haven't seen him in a long time. Well, actually, we saw him this year. We did. Enough, but we did. His son got married. We went to North Carolina for his son's marriage. Anyway, so it's very. When I'm going to see, if that's the Tim Ellis, uh, that's another place I'm going away again in late September and be gone all <laughs> yep, October. It's and that man is going to be the first guy I see on my trip. So yep, so first, Papa's first, getting ready for another hey, Jim, trip. And we're going to be there the first through the fifth or something like that, just so you know that. And great to see you. But now, let's get back to what I was talking about. We've always, here at the Boozers, are trying to do something the next level or something that's really a more challenge we want to do I guess what me and Wesley want to do is a challenge I guess that's the first thing is get something that uh, we, we'd like to have something that that's big and uh, anyway uh, we, we're talking about a, a large C47 mm, yeah uh, and uh, I, I'm going out to see a friend of mine, and he at one time was, if he still could be, he's, he's still a great builder, but he had, we're, I'm gonna try to talk him out of giving me that kit, and this thing is like- It's a 12 foot C47. Everybody's seen them, but we we really wanna, we, I want to build one last large Big plane. airplane. And Wesley wants a plane that possibly he could take to Joan all and fly on the main flight line. Mm -hmm. Not to say we, we're going to do away with all our electric stuff or not be on the electric line, but uh, something maybe to just for, for the big fun. show stuff. You know. uh, so anyway, that might be something we're going to come up with, just so you know. Uh, and that could be it, if it happens probably be next year. Yeah, if it happens, it, it's not going to be one of these projects we turn around in a week or anything. It's going to be a long haul project. Right. Um, 
but we are currently trying to get it. Um, oh, I'm gonna give, give that to Lori. If it happens, guys, it'll be really cool. We're talking about doing a Vietnam era spooky out of it. Yeah, uh, um, Puff the Magic Dragon, yeah. something like that. We'll Which is the original, about. you know, gunships. The C-130s the, aren't We're going to put the yeah. guns out the side. Yeah. Um, no, we're not going to make them work. Work or not. We'd love to, but... Uh, put a little puff machine think, in there. Uh, but. AMA would be a little yeah. That's no that's no. one of our goals right now down the future. We've talked that. about it. We was going to do a B twenty nine, and uh, but this this is more readily uh, four engines gets to be a problem when yeah. you start getting big. And yes, it will be gas. We prob this one is going to be a gas engines. Uh, but it, but you know, it's just you know, if you've never had a large plane, number one, they're fantastic, but they're a royal pain in the butt to take. And they're around. expensive. And they're expensive. You know, the servos uh, for the airplane, it's it's going to be. This airplane would be four or five thousand dollars. Yeah. It, it, when we get all done with it, um, it'll it'll be a lot. Um, but but hopefully we can take you along on the ride and. Uh, we're, we'll still be doing our other and stuff. So Some guys get into turbines, and I'm not a turbine guy. And yeah. so, well, even, you know, four or $5,000, I'd rather have a huge, gigantic warbird, though. You know, most guys that know me know that I want a warbird. And for the money, I can have one big warbird for yeah. that much money. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. anyway, I guess what we should probably start doing, though, because we're going to sit here and talk all night, is we should probably get our Nexa P47 over here and uh, start slinging some paint, and we can paint and talk at the same time. Something that I'm uh, trying to rec EQRC, what about a C47? How about a B24? I want to eventually do the... the Black Horse. No, it's not Black Horse. The, the VQ B24. But it's a lot of money. And this airplane is bigger... It's better, and it's already built by a friend of ours, and there isn't another one on the market. That's the other fun thing about doing this airplane. I don't even airplane. know if this airplane is still available right. other than in, in a, a uh, just drawing. I'm trying to do... To it yourself. And I know that. you're going to think I'm crazy, but my big airplane, I'm trying to do something that nobody else has a lot of. You know, you... There are C-47s out there, but most of them are made, scratch built. You so. would almost have, on this airplane, you almost have to dedicate a trailer to it. It's big, guys. I mean, if you stand it up, it's it's like 10 foot tall. So, I mean, it's huge. So. It's huge. This would yeah. take large... And we're going to try to do it scale, too. We're not going to have no two-bladed props. It, but anyway. So, okay. I'm going to stand up, Lori. You might have to readjust our camera angle. Okay, Just so turn around everybody and knows we're gonna lift it up a little bit. The, 47 tonight. No, come on, move out. Move out. Get out of here. And Lori might have to reach over and just kind of adjust you guys up. She'll be bouncing between the... Just just, just go up with it a little bit, Lori. Go It'll be good. Because the plane's sitting on the stand. So just just the, the back piece. Just push down on it. Yeah, there another thing about this airplane, we was talking about it tonight, and we'll show you this. It was, uh, Wesley decided to keep the Boozer Mozart on this one that we his wolf. Right. And we was all sitting around and we're gonna name this plane Wolfie. Wolfie, yep, we're gonna Wolfie. name it. We're making our own paint job on it. You know, nothing wrong with Touch of Texas that comes with it, but we wanted something different, you know. Uh, we like our plane to come out and look a little bit different than everybody else. I do say that the paint job on this airplane is one of my favorite paint jobs that's come on a P forty seven. Who Not makes who? this kit? This is from Motion RC. This is the Nexa P47, and the link is down in the description if you would like to get one. Let and, them know the boozer sent you. And we have done the bill video on it, mm -hmm. and it is it is on. Uh, there is a bill Hobby thread Squawk. on hobbysquawk.com. You can look up Nexa P47, and there's a whole bill thread where Dad put the whole airplane together. Um, there are flight videos on our channel now. There's actually flight videos on, on, hobby, on hobby Squat, both on the, uh, well, sometimes the, there's, the first ones are always put out by motion, mm -hmm. which there was a motion thread in there on the airplane, and then you put on that thread yep. the, the, the maiden flight on there, or if you go over to my bill video, 
if you go farther enough into it, you'll find the, the uh, maiden flight of this airplane on there also. So you can see how it's built, blow by blow. How I do it, I do it by days. You can see how many days I've taken, what I've done per day, and then at the end of it, after, and you'll see all the material we use. I even, I think on this one, I even lay out all my tools that mm -hmm. I used. And so, another thing about this airplane, Dad was saying it when we when we got this airplane. This is one of the most complete ARF balsa kits you can get. And what we mean by that is. When this comes out of the box, you get all the control horns, everything to finish the airplane comes in the box. You didn't have to buy nothing. You get the retracts, you get the suspension, the struts, the tires. They're all good in this kit. You don't have to go out. The only thing you buy for this plane is the power system, mm -hmm. which can be either gas or electric, but this is electric. And, and, Six the, power. and the electronics, uh, the, you servos, have the servos, receivers, stuff. and servo extensions, mm -hmm. and that's all depending on how much of a how much of a lead you have. Like you buy the servo here for the wing, right? Then you and have we to used get them inside the. Fuse. We used free wing servos, but you can use high tech. You can use Horizon, whoever you want to use, Jr. Whatever you want. When you buy this kit, guys, you can do whoever you want. Um, but in the day, it even comes with a fuel tank. Fuel tank comes with it if you decided to go gas. We didn't, so we didn't. I need mean, to you use don't it. have to go. In 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 my day, back 15, 20 years ago, when that sounds like awful, but that's two thousand. If you would have bought something like this, you would have had to go out and buy all the control horns. You would have had to buy all the 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 linkage. Uh, the, you would have to buy the retracts, the wheels, all, none of that came with these kits. But these particular kits come that so, detailed. So that's Lori, really good. Uh, actually, I can see it. Dad, let's turn it sideways to see the camera here to see if we can get more of the wing in the shot. Just, the wing just help me shot. pick it up. So oh, go, oh, oh, okay. We're going to go like this. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So when we go to paint, they're going to be able to see what we're doing. So yes, we're going to, if Wesley doesn't want to go too crazy. With yeah, this I'm one. not going too crazy on the paint job of this one, guys. Look at that giant prop. This is the FMS Corsair 1700 millimeter propeller, guys. If you decide to get this kit and want a prop that looks extremely scale on the airplane, as you see, it flies the heck out of this thing and looks awesome. But Lori, uh, do you mind getting us over to the top shot and we're going to start talking about how we're going to be painting this airplane. And, it doesn't uh, need a lot, guys. Now, yeah. the, the airplane, the airplane let me looks explain great. this to you. This airplane is not painted. And it I'm going to start. It, this this uh, covering is actually using. printed. Okay, this is printing. It is not monocoat. It is not a monocoat type covering. It is more of a... I always called it sticky paper, Keep talking, I'm gonna start painting. but it does shrink. The good news about what they covered it in, it does shrink in the sunlight. So if it gets the, what I'm saying there is if the if the uh, covering starts kind of getting loose, if you stick it out in the sunlight, it will tighten up just like Monaco. But it is not Monaco. Uh, it is a more of a kind of a sticky paper type stuff, but it does do that uh, shrinking. Uh, it it is all this is all but boss. This is not a this particular plane does not have a fiberglass fuselage. It is all built up. You wanted to know that the wing is all built up, uh, but it comes in rather. I, we never have weighed this airplane. I did weigh it. It's on Hobby Squad. I don't remember how much it actually weighed. Was it like 10 pounds? Uh, I think it was 8, if eight I remember pounds. correctly. So it's not, uh, I was going to say, it doesn't come in really all that heavy of an airplane. So, it, and, and the build was rather, rather, to me it was easy. Uh, so, so, let me just explain real quick. He's going to keep talking to you guys, but if you okay. haven't been to our channel before, we're going to take a piece of paper. We're going to lay it on our panel lines. We're going to keep our airbrush medium going towards the oh, trailing okay. edge yeah. of the wing so that it all looks like it's flowing. 
You can keep talking, Dad. I just wanted to explain what I was doing before but, I started painting. But it's all balsa built up. Uh, it's not anything uh, that is uh, as any. I, I really, I built planes that have the uh, fiberglass fuse. I really like them that way. Uh, the only thing about all built up balsa planes is you you kind of start worrying about the weight on the the. the and that's the only thing that I always had a problem with is that the balsa built up plane started to get heavy. This one didn't seem to do that. I don't really have that problem with these planes or this particular plane. As I said in the video, I really believe we got everything correct on this airplane. We have the right power system or an electric. I don't know what to tell you that I would recommend on gas. I haven't know. You just have to go with what. Lord, can you zoom in uh, on this wing? Maybe they can't that see. That motion it. is suggesting to do on gasoline airplanes. I have no idea, but I do suggest that I really believe we got this one right as far as it's not as Wesley says in the video. It's not the fastest bird. At the field. Okay, if you're looking for speed, this isn't the setup. Huh? Okay. I was just curious if they but could see the black is, right now that's going on there. But it does, it Let is me. the most scaled airplane as far as the P 47. Try and pick this up, guys. It might be at a weird angle. Just so what you can we kind of, I just want to see if we can get them to see what I'm actually painting right now. Oh, okay. If you could see it, I'm being very light, guys. Sometimes I go real, real dark with this stuff you can see it I'm just putting a little bit of haze behind all the hatches and it's hard on camera to get this to show up for you but if you can see that panel line now has black coming off the back side of it real light on this guys you can overdo this effect real easy you can see it right dad yeah, oh yeah it's I the, can see it it's here. the light it's the lighting the is a little odd guys on it it's, it's yeah I'm it's, trying to yeah. And I, I, don't I sometimes overexpose or there overdo you know. this for guys. This is the part that shows yeah. up now. I that sometimes is. overdo this effect so you can see it. But I also kind of just want to take it easy on this one. Because this is a little bit more of a model I want to keep forever kind of thing. Uh, now, let's go back to the model itself. and It presents itself very well as far as scale. The only thing it's lacking, and, and if, if I would tell anybody, if I had, if I would do this model again, the it it needs dihedral in the wing. I don't know why they, they built the wing flat. I don't know why. Maybe I've seen a lot of people build flat wings because it flies better, but it, it doesn't present itself very well. It looks a little odd that it doesn't have a little bit more dihedral in the wing. And it doesn't need that much. It doesn't, but but if I had to do it again, I would put a little dihedral He'd in have cut it. the wing. When uh, he got the wing, he'd have cut it in half and made dihedral. And everything, it. to do that, all that's hidden anyway. The, the two wing halves are in, inside the fuse, and the bottom has a cover on the bottom, so all that that I would have done to make dihedral on a wing would have been covered anyway. But I didn't know it, and I built it that way. So anyway, and it, it flies it. great like it is, guys. It's just that scale look that I miss not having a little dihedral in the wings. Now, like I said, it's not the fastest bird, but it has torque out the kazoo. -wa. Oh yeah. It's got it's got the prop. Well, it goes straight up. It's got out, uh, lots of performance as far as climb. It, it, it has very good flight characteristics, just like Wesley says, he's never flown a bad P-47. Uh, so uh, I also, in the video, say that this would probably, this is, this plane right here would be my first recommendation as far as one to assemble and you after you assemble it correctly it is a great plane as far as your first warbird in this size the size of this plane 
is equal to your 1600, 1700 foamy warbirds. If, and the performance is about the same as those, those planes. So if you like the uh, 1600, 1700 uh, foamy warbirds, this one would be right down your alley. So, and I say to you, uh, these kits right here are uh, very, uh, very detailed and, and very, the, the instructions to put it together were very uh, clear and proper. I, I didn't do anything very much different from what they had in the instructions, so the instructions are very detailed and very, very good. I, I can't say a whole lot bad about it. There was a few things that I can't remember what they were, but they were minor about this plane. Uh, but if you were thinking about doing a balsa plane and uh, you didn't want to go with quarter scale, I would highly recommend this plane to be your first one to put together. And I would highly recommend to follow our lead as far as the power system. If you're an electric guy, if you're a gas guy, you, you, if you're a gas guy, you already know what to put on this thing anyway. It's, it's equal to, I think they recommended, I can't believe this, but they said this was a 45 two-stroke. Yeah, I would probably do a... If, he, if, if it was a... If it was four-stroke nitro, I'd probably tell you to do 100, 100 nitro. Now, I don't know what gas is, because I never did get into the gas thing, but to give you an idea of what size I'd put on it as far as the gas. Uh, I, I, Wesley was really watched that video, Wesley was really blown away with the flight performance of this airplane. Of course, we were talking about, we wanted the scale. That's why we wanted, that we wanted a scale, a big prop on this plane. We, we nailed that. The, and we were not disappointed with its performance. Was you, Wesley? No, not at all. I mean, we sometimes we look at each other and go, well, if we did, but really, 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 guys, this thing has got performance. Huh? I was trying to fix it too Oh, sorry. All right. So uh, that gets that top wing. Let me get that other side. Oh, now, the other thing we was talking about, we, we, we just got through calling this plane, we, we named it Wolfie. I guess we, we decided to do Wolfie on this plane. You can show, show them the... We, we do have the Boozer nose art from Cali Graphics on this plane in the front. I guess and I can you show, can show that. that to them. This is actually one of our uh, squadron patches that I made and, and Callie's got it on her but now this is something you guys can do with your airplanes and, and what we had an interest we have acquired a printer here at the Boozer channel to, to print we can make our own graphics kind of easier graphics I can't do what Kelly can do but no. I can make my own stuff here at the shop so Wesley and Lori has talked about doing Sorry, a program. I'm you, and I'm gonna come if you're around. interested in one of these printers, Oops. of how Dennis to set Farley. it up. Whoops. Hey Dennis Farley. Hey Dennis Farley. <laughs> Big old shout out for you, brother. Lori messed up. But uh, Wesley and Lori are going to do a program on nothing but that printer and, in the future. In the future, and we talked about. How she would cut out the graphics and say the wolfing would be right here. So, just other things to do, guys, that you you could do at home if you want to invest in a printer uh, on that part. Probably got a haircut today too. That's all is a billion dollars. About time to give us a new haircut. <sighs> It is about time to get Wesley a new haircut. The last haircut I gave you was when I gave you one? Yep. 
We, we actually gave Wesley a haircut on the channel, didn't we? No, I did that before. That was, that was Lori. But, uh, I really, this, this, this airplane took me back to my olden my days. Olden days. The where, olden days. Now, the only problem with balsa is that. If you're a crasher, you're going to have a hard time. Please, guys, don't. And we, I, I told you this in the video, and I, I truly believe it. If you have mastered the 1600-1700 Warbirds, and you have mastered the jet, and you want to take your hobby to the next level, to me, there's only one way to do this, is that you're going to want to do these balsa planes. They're not, you're not building the plane. Your, uh, your assembly will go up from six screws to a lot more, and that's what the next level is going to, I said, to, to on, on the video, I said, if you want to go, yeah, one, 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 one of these days, if you want to go to quarter scale, then I probably would tell you to go to this size first and get your experience on this. Oh, and if you can do, if you can do one of these, then you can almost do the quarter scale. If that's a, if that's a goal, if you if you guys want a goal, if you have that goal, then you're going to work yourself through through these planes. So that's what I'm trying to get to you guys, I mean, for the future, think about doing a balsa plane and get your assembly skills up, and, and, and then you would probably want to go to a quarter scale airplane after that. But they're, they're really, the biggest challenge to these planes is the, is the power system. And the, and, the, and the electronics you want to put into them is really the biggest challenge. The other thing is, and this is another thing, balsa, the foamies are really tough planes. I mean, a lot of you guys know this. The, the, I was amazed. I didn't think foam was that tough. But the foam airplanes will take a lot more That's than this plane. This plane... Balsa is tough, but it depends on what kind of crash, how tough it is. <laughs> uh, of course, now, Wesley, you did tell me that the replacement wing for this thing was It's what? not bad, yeah. They do offer all the replacement parts for this airplanes, guys. If yes, you they do, do have they issues They do the, the same future. thing as the foamies. You can do that, but now I'm going to say they're possibly a little bit more expensive. A little more expensive, yeah. I think the replacement wing for this is around $100, but that is without servos or anything, and don't forget. So, I'm just giving you the, the warning that balsa is not as forgiving as foam. Are you looking at my back right now? Are you seeing uh, um, we're not really seeing much. Oh, we need to tilt the plane down. Like that. Like that. Right there we go. There Sorry, we go. guys. I'm talking and Wesley's painting and we're not showing you a lot. But, uh, Trying. So just be aware of that factor that the, bal the balsa airplanes are not as, as forgiving as the foam. That's why I'm telling you to get your skill levels up before you do this. With the four screws and done airplane. Yeah. Don't, don't. You don't cry as much when those hit the ground as you do when you this one does. So These hurt. There, there it is for that one. Just being honest, guys. I mean, yep. We've always promised honesty. I started when that was all you had with balsa, and, and I started when all it was was a kit, and you had to build it. So if you built it, you could repair it. But if you've never built up that wing before, then you're scared to death, and you don't know what to use. Da, da, da. Do we have a question? You just reinforce the with vinyl siding if it crashes. With vinyl siding? No, because you're going to add weight to the wing. Vinyl siding? Don't think vinyl siding, but what you can do with this airplane, the best thing you can do, if you don't knock the wing off completely, 
the best repair on this airplane is the clear tape on this particular covering. Now it comes with. Oh, it, it comes, comes with, with a little bit of patching to patch look like holes if in the poke cover. holes if or you whatever. Poke holes in it. But but I'll get it. It's if you here. knock the whole wing off of it, you're either going to have to rebuild it or you're going to have to order a new wing or wing. So. But the but the problem of yes you could recover it now you know it it does come with some patchwork if you ever had to patch it this airplane does come with this it yeah. comes with two colors this yeah. is the bottom and the top if you do ever have to repair anything poke a hole in the wing whatever you do get some repair stuff now if Papa was uh, doing a uh, repair let's say I knocked the end off of this wing over here what I would do is I, I would rebuild the ribs and I'd probably take the wing completely I'd strip the whole wing off and I'd, I'd, I'd cover it with Monaco but a lot of people are not skilled at Monaco today and don't have that skill level but I just happen to be I'm not bragging guys I just happen to be he did it. I did it. I, 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 you did it or you didn't do it. You, know, you didn't do it. You had to build it before you flew it. So, yeah, that's, that, I'm not trying to brag, but I have the skills to do it. Uh, I, I'm, my skills are not, I had have, I have friends that could build one of these in a night. Believe it or not, that's not a lie. I had a friend that could build this airplane maybe two nights. I've seen, I've, I've actually seen him build a 40 size airplane, crash it on a Saturday, and fly it on a Sunday. And he built the whole thing. I mean, he went home with it in a bag. But, I mean, he's an exceptional guy, still alive today, and I guarantee he could do it again. But the man was just an absolute, one of those phenomena that he does things. I'm trying to get this to where I can actually see it. Like I said, I didn't go as dark. Is I know, oh wait, <laughs> top view. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get this to where you can actually see it, guys, but the angles are kind of weird. I'm just adding some greasy. The nice thing on this one is it comes with all the panel line and rivet detail out the box. Yeah, this and I just added that some. That is nice not Papa dots. That is actually mm -hmm. from the factory. From the factory. And it was super easy to just add us a little bit of dirty. I'm Dad you. did add the Papa Dots here. Silver no, I, pen. I did some of these on the, these, like the, here on the little things here. I, I did those, but here. just added a little bit to he, them. Yeah, he did the canopy. This is where the battery goes, if y'all want to see. And he did paint this part. Okay, so, so this airplane does fly on 6S 5000s. And in the video, we say that we elected to do that for one, the scale prop. Two, we we wanted to do. We have so many 6S batteries from oh, jets. Help me turn it over. From jets, we bottom. wanted to uh, use do that 6S power. And, and guys, we we don't Just regret that doing that either. I don't think it'll hurt to sit on that either. That, uh, no. Now, this is something you can see maybe if you see, you put the wing in this, this center section, you, you screw on here. So I, what I was telling you a while ago is if I'd have done Top any kind line. of cutting, if I'd have done any kind of cutting here, all that on the wing to make the dihedral, all that would have been covered up. So that's the neat thing about this airplane. I could have done that dihedral and you'd have never seen it. Uh, all the, now, but but uh, the the plane is just uh, absolutely beautiful plane. I mean, mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been very happy with it, and it flies great, guys. Like I said, we've just been very very happy with this airplane, and I did buy this airplane with my own money. This was not given to us. Now we do have another. We, I wanted this plane, and I bought it with my own money. This airplane is three oh nine. If I am I right there, three oh nine. That's uh, somewhere right in there, yeah. I believe it's three hundred nine dollars the kit. It's linked in the description, guys. The uh, what? The all the 
the other gear that we put in here, we, we probably got close to $600 in this airplane. That's another problem with balsa planes. It's not a problem, it's just something it's you need to know. It's just another need. Balsa is going to be more expensive than yep. foam because of the reason for that. For so, now, there well, is another company that we are currently working with, we won't say anything yet, that is working on trying to bring balsa planes plug and play to the market for the price of a foamy. So, keep an eye out for that. In the future, we are trying to but work But just be aware, when you go to a balsa plane, that you're going to up your level as far as the cost. Normally, yeah. Normally. So, I just, I'm going to say we have close to $600 in this plane. Is yeah, that that's correct? probably pretty accurate. I can't give you an exact number. I think we've got about... 150 in the power system, probably another hundred dollars in servos and receiver, the airplane, battery. I mean, yeah, we're probably all up when you're flying, you're at six hundred dollars ish. We, we have how many flights do we have on this airplane? Two, two. We only have two more? flights on the airplane because we was out there that day and we did the uh, maiden and then. You never did. Oops, I didn't like that. We did never you? released a performance. Yet. We never did re release a performance. Yeah, we have another video ready for it. We just hadn't put it out yet. Forgot all about that, Lori. We do have another video ready. So uh, now, talking about balsa planes, we 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 do have. I don't another, know if they're able to see what I'm doing out here. We do have another balsa plane in in the process of being to put together. And if you watched one of our video, of the Leslie, you did about two weeks ago or three weeks ago, we have the Black Horse HE 111 bomber. And we're eventually going to do the same treatment to that airplane also. The, where we, it, a lot of you guys might know where we're at on that. We, uh, I got, before I left, I got it together. But we, we made a slight change. We decided to go with more scale props on that plane. And we picked out a uh, flatline model. Yep, the uh, TA-152. And we decided to go with those, that power system off of that plane and the, and the props, which is very scale looking for that plane. It, it really fits it well. Now nice. the problem we have right, yeah, I need to. is that the, the engine, the, the motors are not in stock at this time. Right. And we have been delayed on that because of that problem. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to hand it to you this way. So we will have that out to you as soon as we can purchase the motors for that airplane. Look for us to have that bomb. I, I was really, you know, another thing, those Black Horse models are just, I, I, the Black Horse models are not as complete as the next model. Nexa. Next models. <laughs> that, whatever. But anyway, they, you have to get the retracts for that plane. It comes with landing gear, but they're fixed. And if you want retracts, you have to buy the retracts for it. And uh, the, it did come with, with some gas engines. I think it's like didn't come with gas engines. I mean, it comes with gas, the gas tank. Come with all the push rods and, the, and that kind of thing. But it, it, like this one came with the retracts with it. The, that particular plane did not come with retracts. So, uh, it's all together. Wesley showed it on, a, on a about yeah, two weeks ago. Maybe, maybe so if you it. want to look and see where we're at on that, you can go back and watch some of the old video about a month ago or so. And you can look where we're at on that plane, but we're really looking for I really to. have been impressed with this airplane. Like, uh, uh, no joke, guys. The, the, the finish on this airplane has been fantastic. For the price of this airplane, I, I can't believe they haven't sold all of them yet. I didn't see what you're doing on that one. But that's I okay. just shot it because it was in the corner of my head. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, a lot of people going, well, they say that because they like uh, the motion so well. We I, like everybody, guys. You know, if I didn't like this airplane, I wouldn't tell you that. Wouldn't be working on it anymore. I'd have sold it. it. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I think 
you can see our our joy. If you watch oh, the man. maiden flight on this, and when we get through flying, we look at each other and go, "Wow, wow that we was hit good. it out of the box. We got this one perfect." I, I mean, you can't really hide that, guys. Or I'm not that good an actor to hide it. So we're just good old boys. Uh, I'm just telling you, this airplane is, as I said in the video, I, I recommend it for, for your first Balsam Warbird, the P-47, Wesley Ooh. said it. That one on the rough side. He's never flew a bad P-47. They just fly good. We also said that we would like to have for our four, first quarter scale Warbird would be a P-47. Mm, I'd love to have a big one. Yeah, one and, day. But, and, but we would make that one gas. We, we know that eventually when we start building larger stuff, we will be doing the gas. Yep. When you get, to me, you know, much over this size right here, I know we did the storage and electric. But, you know, once you get past 1,600, 1,700, I kind of want to gas. I kind of want to gas. But I don't know if they see what they're not seeing what you're doing. They're not doing. seeing in front view. That's uh, fine. But, I'm about done. And we, I might do more colors on this eventually, guys. But for now, I just kind of wanted to get on here and play a little bit. Got to have something for us to watch, right? <laughs> you know, guys, I really Well, my air compressor's been running across the table this whole time. It almost ran right off the side. That, uh, I can, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, but I never could get into really of uh, the the uh, the uh, scale master stuff. I like it, but I don't want to do it. I mean, those guys have That's some work. of Job, and I, I somehow, but I just never could. The old saying was, people ask me, hey, do you think I could get into this? And I go, I don't know. I said, you see that that airplane over there? And they go, yeah. I said, can you jump in the middle of it? And they go, oh, no, I, I can't do that. And I said, well, I don't think you can be in this hobby then. Right. Don't build anything you're not willing to crash, because you'll never fly it. So... That's where I am with the scale masters thing. I I love this thing, but I don't like it. I don't want to take that much time. I mean, I was always amazed, especially back in the 80s when a lot of these guys were developing things we take for granted today. I mean, I'll never forget the guy that was at the scale master that had the dauntless with the wings folded up on it. That had never been done before. I'm just talking about things that that I was around that that didn't exist prior to that. I, I, the guy that that first scaled the Hold F, for a second. the Wildcat uh, landing gear. He was from San Angelo, Texas. Believe it or not. Dump that in there. Dump that in there. Okay. Is there? Clean it up right I'm, now. I'm glad I'm helpful. Clean it up a little bit. But I'm about I mean, done with my uh, but it, You know, guys, it's amazing. And I, and I was around those guys, but I, I don't have the patience to do any of that thing is what I was trying to get over to you. We, we always enjoyed going a little bit further, but there are some guys that go a lot, a lot further. further. I mean, there's a, I, mean I, I was around another guy that's from San Angelo, an old man. I thought he's got to be dead by now, but he would build these absolutely marvelous World War One planes that were just he could build but he couldn't fly worth them. <laughs> you remember him? There's a lot of them like <laughs> was that the guy that used to come to the float yeah, flight too he and he'd bring those gorgeous, yeah, gorgeous airplanes. And uh, I mean he I, 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 He was I a was, crasher man. But he was one heck of a builder. He was a builder, but he couldn't fly or I mean, it's that normally what happens. So these guys are absolutely strong, great builders. They can't fly very, very, very seldom that you can find a real good builder. Well, a lot of Top Gun fly. teams do, you know, you build it, I'll fly it teams, too. I'm trying to, I forget always to read these, and Lori's watching them. 
Yeah, if you guys have any questions, let us know. We're getting ready to wrap up as far as the painting goes right now, but if you have any questions for tonight, we figured we'd come on, be live, painting, Joe, you know? And Joe, I agree with you totally. I mean, I have the flu, flu uh, nitro for a long time, and man, cleaning up after that mess, and trying to get this plane where it wouldn't soak through and all the prep you had to do to, to coat the firewall and, and then you had to uh, anything you put on the plane you had to have it where it was uh, soak resistant or it wouldn't take the paint off the airplane it was a real painter uh, and you, then you stunk like that stuff after you got home I mean it I mean, it was, I never did think anything about it, but I do agree with you today. I sure do like these electric airplanes. <laughs> Dunskis. Wanted to get all the paint out of that gun first, though. So, guys, we really have a lot of stuff coming up with the Boozers. I mean, we are just blown away about this upcoming let's sit down and be us for a little bit here fly flying we're going to have I mean, we we would like to see every one of you there i mean uh, i wish every one of you could be there plane over make it look pretty good come out flip it over <sighs> you didn't paint much of that you didn't oh you did paint i might get some more later okay but, you know, for now. You know, the, the simple stuff of what we did here, if you're if you're seeing it in person, it's a lot different. It's than a lot different than seeing it on camera, though. Yeah. He's right. It, it's... And Wesley could do a little bit more as far as the tan. Now, yeah, I can always do more. What right, the, I'm going to pull my chair back up here, though. Let's see if y'all can see us through this airplane. Hey, another thing that I did on Hobby Squawk is I'm, I'm messing around with this guy. Uh oh, they can't see me over here. here okay. Stand got, up for a second. We got a big prop. Stand up for a second. There you go. There we go. Well, you know, I'm always trying to think of something you guys could do that I'm always messing around with. I did put this on uh, drink. Hobby Squawk, but, but on your phone planes, of course, you know I do the dot thing. But what I'm trying to, and I think I've perfected it, is actually doing some, Wesley has painted some of these panels like silver, like somebody has replaced the panel and, uh, and they didn't repaint it. What I've done is taken an aluminum pie pan and actually did the repair panels out of aluminum. And it come out pretty well, and it's on hobby. It's on a hobby yep. thread. And he's we've got another one going right now where I'm going to shoot a pie plan with a BB gun, and then he's going to cut that out and make it look like it's a panel that's been shot. Bullet holes. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, I mean, I'm trying to give you guys something that uh, is something you can play around with if you're if kind of bored and you want to see what you can do with with. Uh, uh, making one of these things look like it's been in, in the war. I mean, I, I like pristine airplanes, but every once in a while I kind of like to see them where they look like their warbirds were not pretty. So what I'm trying to do there, so maybe in the future we'll show you how to, I've already did, well, I did one panel on my B-25. Mm -hmm. Yep, I, and the B-25 is coming, guys. It's It's... He's fixed the gear on it. Everything's going good on that airplane. Well, we're gonna. You're going to. I gotta put the a BEC storage in. apart. Yep. You're gonna take the storage apart, and we're gonna get the BEC out of the storage, and which put we it want, in the and we'll put it in the B25. And we're talking about the. If you guys don't know, what's that? B25. We LX B25. The big LX LX B25. one. We've done all the recommended upgrades to it that there's a few things that's a little lacking on that airplane which most of you guys have either seen it or Nex whatever. is known for or what, not Nex, what uh, uh, and, and LX would I, would I have bought the airplane uh, no but I in, in my comments I said I'm getting older by the day so I don't have time 
for somebody like Motion to build one. So I jumped off, or well, I didn't jump off. Wesley hey, jumped Pilot off. Hey, Pilot Ryan, what's up, man? And bought me that airplane, and uh, we want to uh, fly that thing. It's 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 impressive. I mean, you know the sad part of that airplane? It's just so close to being a great airplane. I mean, the 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 plane itself, the foam. If you decide you want a B-25, the LXB-25 is great, buy the kit. Buy the kit. <laughs> Put your own servos, servos in it. Put in it and uh, all that. You'll have a great airplane. Yeah. Well, the only other thing is, is the landing gear is a little on it. There, yeah. So, yeah, watch uh, RC Informer. Yeah, he does some or, great videos on it. He's got some upgrades to that, and I tell you to do that to the airplane. If you do that, hopefully we'll have that airplane before the end of the year up and on a video. Oh, yeah, by the that. end of the year for sure. We have got, I mean, it, it, we're, we're constantly having stuff. Oh, that was up. the other thing, guys. If you haven't seen, we did a community post yesterday. I flew the fastest airplane I've ever flown yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And it was awesome. And we do have a video coming on it in the future, but Jerry McGee actually put up the video of me flying his, uh, I think it's called an Outlaw, and it did 175 miles an hour. We radared it. It is accurate. It was moving, man. So if you're yeah, curious, nice. that video is out there. Uh, I will be putting another video out of it this week. Papa did sit there with the phone and film it. Um, and then we're going back down there on the 15th for National Model Aviation Day. And he's going to bring it back out. And Lori will be there and we'll have the big camera to film it then. So that'll be a lot of fun. If she can keep up with it. Yeah. I guarantee you, that thing goes night. It's like... I mean, it's like, no! it's like a little bee. And I'm doing the best I can to keep up with it. But yeah. A lot of guys are using the aluminum tape for like air conditioners. You know what I'm talking about? That aluminum. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, big personal thanks, guys, that have joined the channel tonight. I'm super, super excited to finally have that option available once again. If you're getting in late, it's down in the description. I don't think it's available yet if you're on a cell phone. Um, I think it's only available through a computer right now. But you might check out that link if you are interested in it. We try to be really fair with our pricing. There's only one level of our membership. It's $1.99. We wanted to make it fair and easy for anybody to be a Boozer Barracks member. Um, so if you decide to do it, guys, check it out once again. Um, I've seen several of you joining tonight. That's so cool to me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the custom emojis. There's one of me with two airbrushes in my hand. I hope they were blowing up the chat tonight. Did you get to see any of the custom airbrushing ones going crazy, Lauren? And we, and we, you know, we, we want to make it to where even though that $1.99, you're going to get your value with it in right. the future. Right. We're, we're going to, I mean, hopefully that on the Boozer channel, we've done a lot of stuff over and above some of the other channels like I mean, I don't want to, but we, we, we've done the artwork, we've done... George Watts had an outlaw, said it can roll faster than the eye can see, that's oh, it, the truth. Oh, man. There you go, there's one. There's one right there. You see my ugly face down in the chats now, too, and Just Dot It. We're going to have to change Just Dot It, though. You can't see it on the black background. Yeah, it might have to be, well, it depends on what, what format you're looking this at. This is true. If it's you're looking at the white, white, you probably see the airplane. If you're looking at it on the black, it just says Just Dot It. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the face. We're looking at the chat right now, too. The little, the little blue one is my face with two airbrushes, and it's just airbrushing Zen. Okay. Well, oh, okay. I you can't know. see it right now. Lori will make it big for you later because we're setting guys. We set like eight feet away from the TV, so you got to squint to read them. So. Well, I mean, another thing is that, that I'm still blown away. We are growing. A, oh, every a day. Pretty, pretty decent clip. I mean, it wasn't very long ago that we just hit 5,000, and here we are. It, it, we've got 500. You mean 500? Well, no, no. I mean, we, we, we hit 5,000, what, two months ago? We haven't ever hit 5,000. I mean, 3,000. I mean, <laughs> 3,000. But I mean, we've already done. I mean, I'm just amazed that we have already gained another 560 subscribers. And, uh, yeah, I just, uh, 
Gavin. We must be doing something right. Yeah. Uh, it's not like uh, I, I'm just thrilled mm -hmm. and and kind of uh, taken it's, at. It's it's people, funny to me. Like when we went down to Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. How many people know who we are now? When we show up at a flying field. Yeah. That always cracks me up. Hey, it's the Boozers. Well, and we're I, like, hey. I asked, I asked uh, everybody. That there was probably, what, 20 people there that, from members. And I EQ. Asked, uh, hands like up that actually had watched the Boozers. Mm -hmm. And there was maybe 10 of them that had actually watched us. So that's part of it. Uh, and I told them, I, you know, I said, and I'll be honest with you guys, and a lot of you guys know this already that have the channels that's in here. You're not going to get filthy rich doing what we're doing. I mean, the, 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 I, I could get a woman in a bikini <laughs> and her fishing or doing stuff like that and get more subscribers in a month that we've had in two years. All you're missing is a good banjo is what Tim said. Uh, that's what hey, I mean. well, Tim, you get over here and play again. one. But, but all I'm saying, to you guys, we uh, hopefully you know that we're, we're probably doing this. We we are really doing this. Or, For the love. Love of what we're doing. We love the, what we're doing. We love RC. Uh, and uh, it, it's a way for us to have more planes and things to be doing. And I'm getting older by the minute, so... Yeah, uh, gosh, we've got more airplanes in the last year than what we probably ever would have thought we'd have had. And we we, we are just so, I, I, I look back at what we've done in the last two years, two years, and I'm just going, how did we do this? I mean, it's just, I mean, and it's not me, it's Lori and Wesley. I'm just here for the ride, but, because uh, uh, I go away and say, bye, I'll see you later. But, uh and I'll be back when I, I get back, which is going to happen again. I'm going to be gone the last week of September and the, all of October. So, Lori, we need a Papa Boozer emoji. Well, there's a Papa well, Daughter emoji. Well, we got we got five members now, so I can add one more emoji. Oh, right, so hey, we got Papa's enough members to add emoji. another emoji. Hey, Tim, sign up two or three times. <laughs> two or five times. <laughs> Well, guys, I mean, I've had a really fun night tonight. I hope you guys are enjoying membership. We do have a video out there. It is of a crash, and you can only see it if you're a member. <laughs> and we do plan on putting members-only content out. Um, we try and keep it fair, though, to where guys can get into it and see the stuff. But uh, And I'm going to keep trying to go live for our members-only. Um, especially while this is new, if you want some one-on-one -on -one boozer time, um, this is going to be a good way to get it. Um, you know, we may do an after party coming up in the future where we do our live shows and then an after party for the members only. Something like that. Maybe a warm-up show. I haven't figured it out yet. I'm definitely going to do some extra show stuff for our members, though. Um, I want you to get your money's worth out of it. Um, I think I'm going to do in the future polls for members only to pick pick the next plane we do. You know, if, if I'm getting ready to buy something, I say, all right, here's four airplanes. Pick yeah, up. and they'll pick up something that's $10,000. No, well, I'll give them four <laughs> oh, options. Give them Maybe like, four like, options. Yeah, we're, we're yeah. going to give you an option. Here's the budget. Man, that is one big prop sticking out there. It is, isn't it? <laughs> See? Isn't Look that prop Isn't that awesome? It is. We gotta say we got the. And right then money. there's the you know we when we got it we were going between this and then the Mustang propeller. I'm glad we bought this one though because I think the Mustang's blades are square instead of round like these. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh. I think that the, I anyway when we went to buy this you could either buy the Corsair or the Mustang propellers. They're the same. But I think the blades have a little fat part at the bottom, and I think it would have looked weird. Pop and now, up. these are kind of hard to get right now. I don't know if they're back in stock or not yet. But the, the Corsair prop was out of stock. I don't know if it's come back in. I don't think they still make the 1,700mm the Corsair, so parts supports kind of... Eh. So if you want to do this one, you might get it. Or you're going to have to change. Or you're going to have to change. I've seen another guy on Hobby Squat did do the three-bladed off of the Corsair on here, and it looked pretty good. 
Yeah, but a four blade looks better. I know. P forty seven had a three blade prop. None. I think some did actually. I don't think so. But yes, the four blade looks better. I agree. Now, what we were talking about doing is that, and I really like that power system on that sixteen hundred Corsair because I love the Corsair, and it's one of my go to flying airplanes. But we were talking about doing another balsa plane mm -hmm. and using that power system. Right. Which I think it would be awesome. Right. We've been talking about doing the Hangar 9 Hellcat and using the power system out of the 1600 millimeter Corsair. And I think from much nurse, I know, you know, most guys that are into this won't mix brands like we do, but I'm like, whatever, it fits it right. I want to do it. You know, guys, I thank all of our sponsors that have helped us. But, you know, if Motion's got the power system that I want to use in the Hangar 9 airplane, I'm going to do it. I Same see. thing with this. The next plane, this is Motion RC, but I've got a Horizon Hobby motor in it. But it's what fit it, and it, it, it just right. worked, it's you know? Right. The one, and that's, that and that's what we were yeah. trying to do for you guys is when, when we tell you to do this, it's either yes or no. We right. either hit it right or we'll tell you, no, you need to change right. something up. And it's the same thing. Until we when we have we have got that thread up on Hobby Squawk for the HE-111. And it is built. But if we a, fly it, it flies a big, like poop. There's then. a big but on the end yeah. of this is do not follow what we say until we put out the a flight, flight because it could fly like it poop. Could. I'm being honest. And it we, could. We can't get there. So until I fly, play. I'm not going to tell you if that's a good airplane or not. It's too yep. risky. No. Oh, speaking of planes, though, I did fly the air tractor today. You did. Uh, was very happy with it. I flew it in a hurricane. Lori got soaked. She was not very happy about that. It is a docile airplane. Very docile. Great second airplane. Great third airplane, you know, anything in that line. Or even if you're an experienced pilot that wants to do some crop testing, it was a lot of fun. Um, one thing I would highly recommend if you are an experienced pilot is give it more elevator throw than what it comes out of the box with. Um, it was very docile and it flew good, but when I was flying in the wind today, I wanted more elevator. And so I went into the radio and gave it 120% and I also moved the hull. Uh, and it made it better, but I think I'm actually going to try and find a longer servo arm for it now. <laughs> and even I want it to—I mean, I want that elevator to move. So maybe it's just me, but uh, I want more elevator than what that airplane came with. But it flew good. If you're wanting a docile airplane, it flies very well. But I wanted more rate because I was flying it STOL styles. You know, coming in slow and. When you're coming in real slow, you need more deflection because the the slower you're going, the less air is going over that control surface. Now, if you're going to go out there and fly warburst style, you know, fast and everything, it's got plenty of throw. But if you want to get it real slow, um, that and actually it's right over there by Dad. It's it's on the screen, Dad. Not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's, it's on the screen, Dad, huh? not actually set inside you, but the well, A-flight aircraft. Well, pointing over there. Well, it's right there beside you on the screen. See? Okay, it's right there. Okay, see, it's that yellow thing on the screen. But, uh, uh, yeah, it was actually really good, though, and I really liked it. You'll see the video this week on that airplane. Um, really enjoyed it. Big thanks to Horizon Hobby. They sent that airplane to me, but I'm still giving you my honest opinion that I actually really like the airplane. You can't show the boobs. But we do have... He's a, got some Papa Booby stickers. Get, uh, Callie, <laughs> would you please get my boobs on the channel? Uh, get so, them where they're offered. Callie Graphics, if you didn't know, there's actually a Mary Boozer section. Um, Lori has uploaded some of the Not Safe for Work edition graphics to Cali, and we are waiting for her to put and them on right great, now. it's great, man. It's great. But we have got a few samples of them. I think one's going to go on Papa's Corsair. Um, and they're awesome. If I love you them. guys don't buy my... That's right. We I, need some I'm gonna movie pictures. doing this. If you don't put my, my uh, 
girls on girls your planes. Girls on your planes, it, I'm, I'm just going to be very disappointed because I... I, you know, I know EQ was in here a minute ago. Eric Quinn buys all kinds of stickers from me, so I know he's going to be buying your girl picture. Those people. He's been waiting. For you. He's, he's been patiently right? waiting for movies. I've, I've been patiently waiting, but I'm, if, if Callie had a telephone number, I'd call her and say, hey... <laughs> I've been waiting for six months for this stuff. I don't care if the COVID got you so busy or not. I want my artwork. <laughs> Just uh, saying. Um, oh, speaking of shirts, to pay it forward, there are several new shirts, guys. Lori's got a new one that's got the stars and bars with a B24 across it. Um, she's got the new logo shirts. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love my legacy stuff that's got the Pathfinders and the Barry Boozer original, but we do have our new logo and merchandise available also now. So, links in the description, all that good stuff. And face masks. Face masks, yes, we have face masks. So check out the merch store if you haven't seen it in a while. There's a lot of new stuff. I've got to order. I've, I've got to, I've, I've gave away my one to Gavin, and i got to get my... Papa, Papa, Papa Dot. Shirt back. What was it? it was Papa Dot approved, approved Rivener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I missed that shirt. Gavin's wearing that one now. No, he's got it hanging he's on the wall. Hanging on the wall. Hanging on the wall. Well, we're going to see Gavin on the 15th of this month, from what I understand. We're going for National Model Aviation Day. He's going to come out and fly with us. So, really looking forward to that. I think Rich RC and Forber is going to be at that event also. At Imperial RC Club in Mulberry, Florida. Same place as the Mary Boozer Fly-In. So, uh, we really like working with Jerry. Their club is top-notch, excellent. Hey, if you got a girlfriend and you you can send me her picture, <laughs> I will do one of these for you. But i got to have a picture of your girlfriend or, or wife, wife or whatever so I can make it correct. Uh, anyway... I have said my piece tonight. I just do it for the art. Just do it for the art. That's right. That's right. Rose style. Yep. So, guys, I have had a wonderful night. I, I hope you have enjoyed yourself here at the Mary Boozers channel. Yep. Uh, we're always trying to bring you something new, whether it be airbrushing, poems. <laughs> Who knows what you're going to get. And once again, big thank you to all of you who have joined the Boozer Barracks tonight. Um, every one of those helps. Um, and we can't wait to see where this goes in the future. Uh, well, we're on our way to 4,000. On our way to 4,000. Who knows? Who knows? Um, who knows what the future holds kind of thing. We're, we're always just here. We're going to be here. We're going to keep doing this until I croak. Well, I hope he doesn't do that anytime soon. Well, I didn't have my 67th birthday on the 26th of July, so I'm getting up there. I'm going to hit 70 before it's... I mean, that'll be just a sneeze away. <laughs> Dirty old man. Just her jugs. My wife doesn't <laughs> like me sending out pictures of my, my girlfriend. girlfriends. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I'm just telling you, if you really want one. Dennis, can... I cannot wait. You know, guys, just to let you know, Dennis is actually coming out to spend a week with us. And uh, I can't actually wait because Dennis Farley, uh, I talk to that man every day almost. And uh, I can't wait to actually meet him in real life uh, and spend a week with him. Diane says hi, Lori. No. No. Oh, Gavin, Diane says buy Lori jewelry. jewelry. <laughs> Gavin, that's fine. You, you, that you keep it on the wall. You'll grow into it. You don't have to wear it. Uh, so. I hope you washed it, though, because Papa was kind of, <laughs> kind of sweaty <laughs> that day. That's true. Oh, that makes it worth more money. Oh, <laughs> you leave okay. the sweat in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, guys, like I said, I've had a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed your Sunday night with us, uh, and thank you for coming. Yeah, we, we 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 are just you guys are are the. I mean, we have a certain set of guys that come in here all the time. We're growing people all the time, but all you guys that are in here every week and that are have been here for ever and a day, we we just. We can't, we can't thank you enough. No, you know? we can't. There's no way no. to do it other than all we can do is try to keep trying try to keep to giving you the best bring you in content that you enjoy to see. And, and uh, it's sure because it's not watching us on this. Uh, I mean, it's my beautiful face that keeps them coming back. 
Well, we're not the percentric buzzers. I don't, don't love this plane and all that. <laughs> I mean, I don't have that, but uh, hopefully we can give you good content. Yeah. And uh, we we just are just we're just loving what we're doing, guys. And uh, hopefully that comes across to you because that's why we do this. Yeah. And uh, but of course we want to be big film stars too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I got the Famous. voice. I got the voice and the face to be one. That's right. Me too. Me too. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I guess we're, we're through until next week. Yeah. Huh? So we'll see you guys next week. Like I said, be looking for the air tractor video this week. Um, we do have a second video of this airplane coming. I'm not sure if it's going to be this week or not. We have some truck content coming, which some of you guys are going to go bleh. And if you do, just bleh and go to the next one. But uh, And we will have possibly, I did make a video on the flying field down there at Lakeland. So if you're kind of worried about, kind of wanting to see what that looks like, we might put some content out on that. And if we don't do it, what I film, then Lori then will on have the fifteenth. We're gonna have a lot on the fifteenth, so yeah. you can be able to see that field and and kind of get the all idea its of what glory. It is. Yeah. That's your name. That's your oh, thing. All, all its all glory. glory. <laughs> so yeah. So if if you're kind of wondering about that, so look for that content to come out so you can make a decision whether you want to come down here it's a great field it's it's um, it's 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 beautiful it's beautiful paved runway what they say 26 acres or something, something like that yeah. wow. Wow. wow yeah you wow. can hear wow 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 gb said he was coming I yeah, think, GB's I, coming. I, I asked him the other day. He said it was such a short trip. Such just, a short he drive. Just, he's going to drive he's just along. Just get in his car and drive right down. Hey, GB, I like it. So, guys, like I said, we're going to let y'all go. Um, thank you again, everyone. Check out all the links in the descriptions that we talked about tonight. Get you an Exa P47. Buy some Papa Nose Art. There you go. Buy a T-shirt. We don't have to try to sell anything. Drop your custom emojis. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, buy something. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> We're going to let you guys go. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Ellis. I'll be seeing you. Tim, thank later. you for stopping in with uh, yeah, us today. Yeah, thanks, Tim. We really appreciate it. So, guys, see y'all later. Bye.